Hey kings and queens, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be the most controversial video you're ever gonna see because on this video, I'm gonna expose witchcraft. The things you don't see on the dark side, but right now we have it on camera, okay? I'm gonna show you guys everything these guys are doing and lucky on this video, I'll be doing a reaction video. So as I'm showing you guys what these guys do on the dark side, I'm still gonna be giving you guys certain comments, certain things that you don't know. So make sure you, you watch this video to the end. Make sure if you're new, you subscribe. Please make sure you share this video because a lot of people don't believe in God, they don't believe in Satan, they think it's fake. But this video actually exposes the whole conspiracy about God, Satan, witchcraft, and all these dark things you don't see. So without wasting time, let's go straight into it. Let's get this started. Please don't be scared. Please don't be scared. Whoa! Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh, oh my god. She just popped up from nowhere with a broom. Guys, this is a real stuff, okay? This is not this is a real stuff, man. She just popped out of nowhere with a broom. And guys, this thing is real. Okay, when it comes to things like brooms, right? Witches do use brooms on the dark side. I guess you, you guys have seen that stuff in Harry Potter, in the Harry Potter movie. They use brooms, they use um, a hell of stuff. They use brooms, they use some um, containers to travel to different realms, okay? So this is, this is a witch broom. This is what witches use to travel around the world. Wizard too, they use this stuff to travel around the world. They can use this broom and travel from from the Caribbean to Australia within seconds. It's very fast and it's very effective. That's what they use on the dark side. And as you can see on this video, when she when she appeared, when she appeared, um, you can see how she she was dancing. She was dancing. Actually, when they dance, is to incarnate demons, right? If you guys know very well, if you've been to church, right? In church, in church, when you go to church you're being told to dance to sing praises to sing um songs right to sing to worship god to call upon the prince of the holy spirit okay but on the dark side these guys they, they do dances they can dance for like one hour two hours three hours just to call upon the prince of certain demons from this from the pit of hell people do people don't believe that demons leave hell. demons do leave hell every single day and come on this earth okay and people do call them they open portals where they call demons from the pit of hell to this realm to do certain activities to do certain dark stuff for them to kill people to do a lot of stuff so let's go into the video let me know waste your time let's do that as you can see she's dancing and she's throwing um like um a magic chalk right like magic chalk or salt she's throwing salt salt is very powerful on the dark side she's throwing salt she's dancing she's kind of like like she's having sex and it's kind of like um this kind of like dark side, you know these guys are very perverse, okay, when it comes to the dark side, these um, witches, these um, occultists, they sleep with demons, they sleep with mermaids, they sleep with men, they, sleep, they come to post dreams and they sleep with them, they do all those um, sex stuff, they are very perverse, they are very immoral, they sleep with, they fuck dogs, they fuck goats, they fuck all kinds of things, these people are the worst people on earth. Okay, when it comes to sexual immorality, and that's why God really hates those stuff.
you can see she's trained the sword around um, that guy's car and casting spells on that guy's car and this thing is dark Yeah, she's shaking her eyes. As you can see, she has formed a... Excuse me, guys. As you can see, she has formed a magic circle. And in that magic circle, that's where she kind of like does her whole incarnation. She has summoned a, a demon in that circle. And it's that demon that will really help her to perform her witchcraft activities in this time period. This is midnight. This is around 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. This is where these guys are very active. They're doing a lot of dark stuff. They're killing people. They're doing all kinds of stuff. Because the early, the beginning of a day, the early hours of a day, that's like from 12 a.m., that's the beginning of a day. That's when God is blessing people. Or that's when God is blessing people. But now, the devil knows about it. So during that time period, he goes around sending his agents to go and destroy those blessings, to go and help people because when you wake up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m., 7 a.m., you're very late. You're already late. The day started at 12 a.m. midnight. So I urge Christians to really take time and do midnight prayers to really block these satanic holes from coming to, in, into their life because one part of Christianity is being spiritually woke by seeing these things on, on the dark side, understanding their principles and trying to, to defeat them. Like the Bible says in Ephesians 6, for we, do not for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against wickedness of, it, of the dark places, of strongholds in the heavenly places too. So, guys, be very open. Don't just be a, a, a blind Christian. Be an open-minded Christian. See these things and understand these things because they do happen, whether you believe it or not. She just disappeared like that. Where is she? She's back. She's back. What the heck? So what you just saw right now is what we call astral projection where she kind of like disappears and goes into the house without people even knowing. Everyone is sleeping. Everyone is thinking that okay, it's, it's all fine. They're looking forward to the next day. But as you can see, she has just gone into the house. She disappeared, appeared in the house and she took something i think it's a baby because it's quite it's quite small i think it's a baby for my for my perspective i think it's a baby or it might be someone like let's see some dresses no it looks like a baby from to to me like i don't know about you but to me what she's holding in her hand looks like a baby She's doing incantations. She's throwing those uh, magic sword. Like I can see, she's dancing. The more she dances, she invokes those demons to come into this realm and do these things. that actually is that a baby or some I can't understand that
as you can see these people when they are walking they walk behind okay because they are afraid to walk in front okay because jesus christ they move forward okay when you're right when you're going for that christian battle they say um when you're marching you're marching forward for the christian battle right but those um the devil he likes doing things in reverse he likes doing things backward that's why you're seeing this witch she's moving backward she's not moving forward she's moving backward like um in, one, in, in most of my videos i talk about back masking where this satan is the the back mask their music and hiding in plain sight while casting spells on, on on the masses those listening without even knowing that their spirit is, is being drawn to the dark side and they are being and their souls are on that one streak to hell so as you can see she's doing it right now she's moving backward she's doing the back masking she's going behind and not moving forward so check this out Whoa, she's gone again! She's gone again, she's gone! Oh my god! She's back. She's back, and as you guys can see, she's coming on. She when when they appear, right? They do appear on the back side because evil is evil is bad, man. Evil is so bad. These guys, in fact, let's just finish this video. I'll speak more about them um, certain things at the end of the video. She's moving backwards, like like I said, back masking. She's really dancing now. Like she's good at dancing, man. Man, like there are some Christians that when they go to church, they can't dance. They are they are ashamed of God. They go to the, they go to the presence of God. They are ashamed to dance. But look at the Lord. What look? Just look at what, like this is a, this is a witch. She's dancing better than Christians that they go to church. They wear their nice suit. They're like, uh, uh. come on, man. Come on, come on. I think she's about to go back. She took she takes her, her magic broom. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> she's gone, man. She's gone. Wait, she, she she's gone. She's gone. Guys, this is what these people do every single day. Wickedness is so bad. Like, the world is so evil today, not because of the fact that people can't, like, people are, are giving into the darkness, okay? This is what people do every single day of their life because Satan works 24 7. You remember when, in, in the book of Job, when, when God asked Satan, What are you doing here? He said he's been moving around the earth. Um, looking for more to do, like moving around the head, looking for more to devour. He's not resting. Christians are sleeping. These guys are not resting. Every single night they go around committing evil, practicing witchcraft, darkness, killing people, causing diseases, causing cancer, causing HIV, AIDS, and all kinds of things that you can't even imagine. This is what these guys do every single day. And as Christians, if you're not spiritually strong, they'll take you. Like, I, I, I don't talk about them, um, all these um, hypocrites um backsliders um, um worldly christian like kind of christians when we talk about that they be like oh like we are trying to like judge them but if you if these guys come upon come upon you they will deal with you straightforward okay they don't joke with they don't they don't joke with christians these people are so wicked this is witchcraft and you can be like oh it's fake 
if you if you grew up in America, it might be fake to you, but if you grew up in Africa, if you grew up in in, in the Caribbean, if you grew up in, in India, this is not fake, okay? This is a real event that happened that was being captured on the camera and and it's been is moving around, it's is is going viral, people are talking about it because this is the first time they're coming across witchcraft on a CCTV camera. So guys, we have to be very careful with our Christian work because as you're growing spiritually, the devil is sending agents to come and destroy you. And you can find yourself, um, how do you call it, passing through certain situations like diseases, um, hold-ups, and you don't really know where it's coming from. But in your household, there might be someone who is working on the dark side and the devil can use that person to come and destroy your life. I'm not even like, I'm not capping, I'm not trying to like force my beliefs on you. This thing is real. When I was growing up, I've seen this thing with my own eyes where people were like, this witch is right. When they are flying the night, they'll just fall on someone's like, someone like, they'll pray for them. Or so. Let, let's say, if I'm a Christian right now and I'm praying hard in, in the night from 3 a.m., from like 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. And these witches are flying, are, are like they're flying over my house. They will fall down, for real. They will fall down. So I saw like three times, not like one time, three times where when I was growing up in Africa, um, I saw how these um, witches, right? They fell down, and she was like, she she fell down. She was about to die. So she was confessing. People came around, and she started saying, okay, I killed this person. I killed this person. I made her not get married. I made her this. I made her not have children. She started giving confessions, confessions, confessions. People killed her, and she died. This thing happen in Africa all the time. So why not like forcing people to believe in God? It's your choice. It's your it's your life. It's on it's all on it's all it's all on you, man. It's all on you. Because people grow up in certain environments, they think that their environment is what like they think that because they grew up in America, that's all about life. No, the world is very big. Okay, the world is global. If it might, if it's not happening in America, it doesn't mean it's, it's not happening in, in India, in China, in the Caribbean, in South America, in other countries. It happens every single way, okay? If you've watched um, Harry Potter, you must have seen these things take place, okay? Harry Potter is a movie of witchcraft. It's about promoting witchcraft to the world. In fact, Harry Potter even sold out until it was almost competing with the Bible. Imagine it. A book about witchcraft is competing with the Bible. That proves to you that Satan is trying to compete with God in this world. There is no book in the world that has ever sold than the Bible. But Harry Potter was almost competing with the Bible. Come on, man. Like, wake up and, and, and see these things for, in, in front of your eyes. The devil is trying to compete with God. Okay? It happens all the time. As you have seen this broom, that's what they use to travel around the world. They use brooms. They use um, magic sticks. They use sardine containers, sardine, yeah, sardine, sardine container. They use the containers of sardines to travel around the world. They go to different places. They can travel around the world within within a short time. And by three o'clock, four o'clock, they have to go back to the real body because if they don't go back to the real body, they will die. They will die. They will have to do like. And these guys are very disciplined. They are very disciplined. In fact, twelve o'clock is twelve o'clock. It's not like you see in church people are coming late to church no when it comes to the dark side if you if your meeting starts at 12 o'clock you have to be there at 12 o'clock and if you don't come at 12 o'clock they will beat you up and they will mess you up they will kill you these guys are very disciplined that's why you see these artists um come up with different music different evil satanic music because on the dark side they don't joke with time they are very disciplined and that's why you see the world is becoming more and more evil because Christians are not disciplined, but Satanists are disciplined. And if you look at the life of a disciplined Christian, they are very successful. They have they grow spiritually. They like they grow spiritually at a very fast rate. Discipline is the key to success. And I'm not joking with you guys because some 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 people say, like last time I spoke about um, discipline, about obedience, obedience like respecting God and doing His will. I got. Um, people saying stuff like, oh, don't tell us to be obedient, don't don't talk like we're all sinners. I know we are all sinners, okay? But you should try to live a holy life. Try to live... Oh, that's, that's my alarm. 
try to live a holy life for the sake of Christ. Try to be righteous for the sake of Christ because right now, when you become a Christian, your the old has gone and the new has come. So don't talk about all these habits like smoking, drinking, clubbing, fucking around. Let me use the word here. Yeah, let me use the right word, man. Like um, sleeping around, womanizing, um, sexual immorality. All these things you have to give them away for for the prince of God. Okay, you have to give these things away to the world and reserve yourself for God. The more you keep doing that, the more you the more you flee away from the world, the more God's spirit, the, the more you get possessed by the Holy Spirit, the more you grow spiritually and the more God can use you to do certain things. I know people might be like, um, Vali for Vara, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in Satan. That's true, okay. You can't believe in God, you can't believe in Satan because you live in your bungalow, you live in your little house you live in your little life and just go, go to work come back home you play video games all day or you do something like you're not open your mind you're not opening your mind to the world around okay to what is happening around the world and that's why you're on this channel because i want to show you guys certain things that you, you can see so guys if you like the video make sure you like button um subscribe if you're new and please share this video people need to know about the truth about witchcraft they don't see this every single day and they don't believe in god because of all these things but if they had if they grew up in this environment believe me nobody no one will preach to anybody they will take their bibles and go to church on their own and that's what really shaped our lives into christianity from what we saw on the dark side so thank you guys for watching god bless you bye oh, oh, oh sorry guys like i came out with a new match so make sure you check out our match if you want to support us, if you want to promote the channel in one or two ways, thank you guys. Make sure you do that. Links in the description. God bless you. Bye.